Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with the OG NorCal Dude 599 who is about to take a dip right now. I think you just took a dip. Well, I haven't quite taken a dip yet, but now I will in three, two, one. He's all in. There with his go. glasses. But uh yeah. As the pool water begins to sparkle like crazy. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, we are clearly outside and there are some warnings going on actually. So this is going to be one of the only episodes of radio reviews that you will hear on the broadcast cycle. Some alerts on the stations that we're going to do for the reception test. But we'll get to that soon. So, in this episode of Radio Reviews, as Albany proceeds to continue a severe thunderstorm warning right there, we're going to be taking a look at another variant of the FRX3, and it's gray. It has green lettering on the hand crank, and it is in front of us, and that radio is called the Eton FRX3 Hamacher Schlemmer Edition. Okay, the Eton FRX3 Hamaker Schlemmer Edition, and um, basically this is a gray FRX3 with no change in the features or the way it's programmed. Well, it's actually, it's an FRX3 Plus that's gray, because if I sit down here and open up the battery compartment, you can see that it has only one massive lithium-ion rechargeable battery, 3.7 volt, 2600 milliamp, and it's with a connector on the side, but yeah, this is basically an FRX3 Plus, just gray, and it has Hamacher Schlemmer on it. That's literally the only difference with it. by swimming it all away. Yep, this is why I wish I had a pool. But um, anyways, um, right off the bat, you can see that it looks like the same as any regular FRX3 Plus, and it is. But um, you can see it has a hand strap, the whole body is, like I said, a nice, sort of a uh, metallic, eh, silverish gray color. You can see on the hand crank it says Hamacher Schlemmer in green lettering, FRX3 on the hand crank itself. Your volume and tuning knobs remain the same. You have your power button right here, your mute button, and you have the upper buttons right here, alarm on off, up, down, alert, set, and sell and you have the flashlight on the side right here, along with the SOS light. Uh, the display also remains the same, as you can clearly see, along with uh, WXM80. Tuesday night, south winds five to 10 knots, becoming variable. Crackling, of course. See, weather radio station is, except we cast for. Exactly. Maybe eating too much of those Rice Krispies, that's why they're crackling so much. Snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, we're going to be getting into this radio's cool quirks and weird features as the alerts happen behind our backs, because Nicholas is recording it for us all. So Yep. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get to the first feature. And, uh, yeah, there's no button beeps, there's no siren, but, yeah, it actually makes it a little confusing where to start. So... Why don't we get into the first feature on it, and that would just be the color variations, at least from what I've seen. Okay, the color variations of the Eton FRX3 Plus, or the regular FRX3, like in general, really. 
because, like I said, this is really a regular FRX3, just painted gray and it has Hamacher Schlemmer on it because this is a special trim. There's also the green FRX3, which is the LL Bean edition. You have the regular red one, obviously, for both the um, regular FRX3 and the FRX3 Plus. It's also red. You have a black and yellow version. I think black you have... Yellow, black and yellow, No. Bitch. <laughs> I think you have a silver version, I believe. But um, other than that, there aren't really that many color variations on the FRX3 or the 3 Plus. So why don't we get into the next feature? And I yes. Got a quick question. Yes. Out of all the different variations of FRX3, how would you, uh, or how would you place them in order from uh, extremely common to very rare? That's pretty simple. The red one is the most common. The green one is slightly less common. This is a little less common. The black and yellow version, and then it would be the, um, I think the silver version exists. So yeah, red, green, this, black and yellow. Or black and yellow and this. Cannot really tell. But other than that, yeah, why don't we get into the next feature? And that would be the hand crank on the front. And speaking of the devil, look who decided to come out. It is Norfolk Southern Storm. Hartford, Tolland, and Wyndham. Hamden, Hamden, and Hampshire. Well, I, I, well, it's Worcester, it's Worcester. Oh, hi. Oh. Uh, Nicholas is sharing the footage anyway, so yeah. So yeah, anyways, on to the hand crank we go. Okay, the hand crank on the Eton FRX3 Hamacher Schlemmer. So if I put it over here, and then, uh, there we go. Okay, so here's the FRX3, and the hand crank itself is a little bit different from that of the FRX3 in terms of, you know, how you say, um, I guess you could say it's a little bit different in terms of uh, smoothness, because for this one, at least to me, it feels a little bit easier to crank with the Hammaker Schlemmer edition rather than the regular one. I don't know, it's just my personal opinion. And it's pretty quiet too, so. Not to mention it does draw in a lot of energy to the radio when you're cranking it, so that is perfectly fine. So, why don't we get into the next feature and that would be the solar panel right here. Okay, the solar panel on the Eton FRX3 Hemmacher Schlemmer Edition. So, as you can clearly see, if I go over to the sun, yeah. are you getting in the water again? Just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Yeah. You just went to the fucking beach. I know. You know. But I don't want to leave my bay behind. Okay, fair enough. Go right ahead. <laughs> but, um... Oh, look at them. They're getting darker now. Yeah. Woo-wee! This is what's headed for us, guys. Yep. So, yeah. Right now we're okay. Um, if I look over here, yep, strong thunderstorms for Suffolk. Yeah, I think those storms are actually moving away from us. Yeah. Well, you never know what storms they can easily change direction. Oh yeah, that's true. Let me. Um, Fuck, I see that. 70 miles an hour winds. Yep, it is considerable. So, uh, anyways. 
I'll have radar scope right over here so I can monitor everything. This is what's going through the state of Connecticut right now. Or at least the northern half of Connecticut. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the solar panel. So as you can clearly see, it is uh, 6 p.m. now. And it is charging the Hemmaker Schlemmer because of the apparent sunlight that we are getting, even though it's partially blocked by that big storm cloud over there. But nevertheless, it is charging. And as you can see, it is in dynamo mode, and you can see those three bars on the battery icon. If I can go out of focus, there we go. That's a little better. You can see it now. One, two, three, and then it just resumes and repeats. So yeah, the solar panel obviously is a very good feature to have, especially on this radio. Now we must get into a very minor feature, and that would be this, the hand strap. Okay, the hand strap on the Eton FRX3, Hammacher Schlemmer edition. So, again, very useful feature to have. Though it is a little bit cumbersome, I will say that. So, yeah, obviously you can carry it around places. It does the job, obviously. And I'm holding it by this. Hey! Whoa! Extreme radio pinching with the hand strap around my wrist. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> yes. That's all I gotta say. Yes. But yeah. So yeah, the hand strap works. Is that a good enough demonstration for you? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Why don't we get into the next feature, and that would be the flashlight and SOS light. Okay, the flashlight and the SOS light on the Eton FRX3 Hammacher Schlemmer edition. So, first of all, let me put the antenna down before going any further. And then we can continue on with the review. Okay, let me just put it back there. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, here is the flashlight. Not exactly that bright, although you can see it a little bit on the wood. And there's the SOS light. Obviously with the flashlight, two LEDs just for around the house indoors is pretty good to have. Um, and then the SOS light, if you're like outdoors and such. I'm pretty sure you can see this from a complete, um, I'm pretty sure you can see this from a distance, so that's pretty good. But um, yeah, the flashlight and the SOS light make a pretty good combination, especially when you need some help, obviously. But yeah, good feature to have. So why don't we get into the next feature, and this is actually a complaint, so I'm gonna go inside for this. It's about the battery, and you may remember in season six with the FRX3 Plus, this has the same battery issue as that. Why are there no triple A's for backup? Okay, the battery pack on the Eton FRX3 Hammacher Schlemmer. Again, same issue as the FRX3 Plus. Why the hell does it not have AAA batteries for backup like the regular FRX3 does? That to me is a little bit of a liability. So. I know you wanna go out, but you can't. Okay, so uh, Nicholas. Yeah. I just got to the battery pack. This, I got it. I had to come inside for this because yeah, this has the same exact problem as the FRX3 Plus. No triple A's for backup. Just a yeah. big ass battery, just like in season six, where we were near Albertus Magnus, and then we discovered that. Yeah, I'd say that has a similar design to the FRX3 Plus. Um. As a matter of fact, I think it's the exact same design as the FRX3 Plus. It's a bit dark in here. Um, yes, please. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. You see... You see the problem. Yeah, well, if that battery, if that battery like, explodes, then, uh... Or stops working, yeah. you gotta leave it plugged in. Yep. Or constantly on the solar panel, but... Who the fuck wants that? Not me. Probably better off just getting a freaking new battery at that point. Yeah. 
And these batteries are not as cheap as one might expect. I think it's like, what, $15 a battery? Or maybe it could be cheaper than that. I just don't know. And the battery obviously still works on this particular hammock or slimmer. Thank God. Uh, okay, this is uh, really interesting. You can't even tell what kind of battery. Uh, what, oh, I, what, what connector is it? Is it like this? Um, uh, fuck. I think so. Fuck is a. Uh, this one says, uh, this is for the FRX3 and FRX3 Plus, and it's a K-Star. Okay, that is the one. Yeah, how mu how a, much is it? Uh, there's apparently two. Um, oh, wait, no, there's a... Uh, this one ranges from, uh... I think it's, a uh, 649 to, uh... Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, you can you get like multiples, but uh, I don't even know if that's the. Uh, I know that it, actually. Is there like a little like if you take the uh, battery out, like obviously then you just plugged it. If you take that battery out, is there like a little insert like there was on the FRX3, the yellow jacket, where there's like. Uh, what do you mean insert? Like like you know how there's like a little slot for the uh, FRX3's batteries and. Yeah, there there is an insert. It's right here. Okay. All right. It's just like the FRX3 Plus. Alright. So, uh, let's see. Alright, that's, that's what I want to know. So, you should be able to get some replacement batteries for like six or seven dollars on eBay. Yeah. But, I just want to know why they got rid of the AAAs for backup on the regular FRX3 for this. That is a pretty damn good question. Uh, yeah, also, do you have another battery? Because this one's dying already. Uh, let me get my camera bag. Alrighty. That is not where I put my camera bag. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Thunder Thighs are one. When and how hard? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. So, yeah. I am going to switch over to this K-Star battery. And funny, we were just looking at one for this radio. And no, this video is not sponsored. And neither of our channels are sponsored by K-Star. Nope. Or K-Star. However the fuck. It's K-Star. But anyways, yeah. Killer K-Star. No. <laughs> anyways. Um, next feature, speaker quality is next on the board. Okay, the speaker quality on the Eton FRX3 Hemmecker Schlemmer Edition. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've been pronouncing yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's the one I remember. Hemmecker Schlemmer. Hemmecker Schlemmer. Hemmecker Schlemmer. No. Hemmecker Schlemmer. Yeah, I know, but anyways, let's use good old WXM80. For the speaker quality, and I say, whoa. Yeah, it's been doing that ever since I got it. No, it feels like the tuning knob, but this is the volume knob. It feels a bit rusty. Anyways. Uh, let's use good old crackly WXM80 for this. For additional information, please visit the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection website at http colon slash slash www backslash dot Connecticut dot gov slash deep slash A Q I. Whoa, that's the offer for the six. Where is this for? Tallinn Wyndham. Tallinn You go in that room, I'll go in this room.
Do they relay immediately? to the speaker quality. Um, yeah, I knew I ran for it. Even though I caught that, will you still share the footage? Yeah, I know, but I'm in for the others. Oh, right, because you didn't get WXA, uh, WWH 33. Yeah, I can share that a bit. Right. Three to four feet. Just give me all the videos you catch. Right. Winds less than 10 knots, becoming variable. Seas three to four feet. Tuesday, east to northeast winds less than 10 knots, becoming northeast. Okay, so after that happened, um, I'd say the speaker quality is pretty good. It does have a little few of, I mean, yes, there are one or two rough edges. But, um, Yes, dog. Yes. What do you need? Hi. Come here, Xerxes. Who's a good boy? Come here. Beep. Anyways, on to the reception next. Okay, the reception on the Eton FRX3 Hemecker Schlemmer edition, starting from the top. you're wondering, that is fucking Quill 35 that's off the air. Yeah. And before WXM80 goes off next. I swear <laughs> to God. If you jinx that, you're sleeping outside. Oh, fuck you. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go outside to do more reception tests. Whoa, SVA number 434. I don't know where it just got posted for with my... Eh? SVA 434 just got posted. 434, huh? Yeah, let's see. I am mobile. Let's see. By the I way, download it today. Yes, support Budget Studios. You mean Budget Streamers? Budget Streamers. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Oh, it's the fucking name I came up with, so I fucking remember it by heart, bitch. Quick view. Quick view. Wake view. Oh, for fuck's sake. Open. Eh, I think it's a bad Oh. Hey. Huh? I got him. 
Thank you. Zerks. You cannot come out. You can't. No, you can't. You get. God damn, you're stubborn. God damn. You are one stubborn. <laughs> okay. No. Hey, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm trying to do the outdoor reception test. You, you dingus. Thank you. Don't sniff Katie's ass. Okay, so not only is Xerxes being a pervert, he's being stubborn as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas, what do I do here? <laughs> he's trying to get out. Still in the pool? No. Oh, he's out. No, he's out. Oh, um, if he's well, if he's out of the pool and he's drying off, then he should be fine. Uh, oh, but oh, he can't go out anyway. The neighbor's lights are out. Come here. Come here, you lazy fuck. Come here. <laughs> that was fucking fast. Anyways, Xerxes is being stubborn. It, see? See? This is why he can't go out. Cause then we'll have another FRX3 Yellow Jacket episode where the dogs go mad at each other. See, he's already looking. This bitch is already looking. He's looking. He's looking good. But yeah, anyways, on to the outdoor reception test as the humidity slowly starts to go down. These storms have produced wind damage. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.30 p.m. for Northwestern Holland, Hartford, Southwestern Worcester, Southern Hampshire, and Southeastern Hampton counties. At 5.56 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from New Ludlow to near Simsbury, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include Springfield, Hartford, West Hartford, Manchester, Chicopee, East Hartford, Enfield, Westfield, Glastonbury, Vernon, Windsor, Agawam, West Springfield, South Windsor, Simsbury, Ludlow, Bloomfield, Avon, Longmeadow and Suffield. These storms have a history of producing wind damage. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. Oh, I'm sure. At 5 p.m. for 2100 UTC. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms until early morning. For Friday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. For Friday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. And for Saturday, west winds 5 oh, to 10 knots. Oh, hi, private jet. Sees one foot or less. Chance of showers in the morning, then showers likely in the afternoon. Plenty of water. Seniors and those with chronic health problems or mental health conditions are increased risk. Please turn to an alternate weather radio broadcast or what? visit weather.gov for the latest what? weather information. Gotta love New Hampshire, right? Yeah. They do. Weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This no weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please do an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This no weather radio station is temporarily off the air. 
please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Let's, yeah, this NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the... You know what? You guys are going to see this live. Well, live as in a delayed live, but... Mm -hmm. The station is temporarily off the air. The hell? Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast for the... It just went on by itself. ...for the latest weather information. This no weather radio... Excuse you. But yeah, look at this. All I gotta say is, well, not that. Not that piece of crap. Nope, oh, crap. Anyways. It'll upload soon. But uh, yeah, the reception on it is honestly pretty good. What happened? What just happened? That's what's happened. Did it sting you? No. I almost landed on my fucking face. Wasps can suck dick. By the way, yeah, by the time you guys see this episode, you'll get that notification. But you'll get the notification of, like months before the episode even airs. So, mm. anyways, on to the next feature. Are you going to get inside? I'm going to... I'll stay out here with this. You go get it inside if you want. All right, what, what counties are in it, though? The National Weather Service in Boston Norton has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for... Hartford Town, go, go the TV station is going to relay that. Central Hartford know, County, until 7.30 p.m. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from the Stafford campus. No, no, it's the I can get them. 106.9 WCCC should go off. There we go! Go, go, Nicholas! Anyways, that's a start to the AM FM capability. So yeah, obviously FM works. Now for AM. Over on the A's have won seven straight games. They're only a game and a half out of first in the American League West behind the Astros. Houston hosts Colorado later tonight. Jake Odorizzi will face John Gray in that game. There's that private jet again. The Angels in Anaheim. Oh, nice. And Sean Manaya will be starting in that one. And Kristen McKenzie on the mound as well. I love that. In w Triple C over here. With a 3-1 win at Texas. And the Mariners won. Well, obviously the AM FM capabilities work like a charm on this. Yep. As I was just getting into that segment, Box decided to say hello. The ERA were lower five and a half. I'm curious now. I get WJMJ over here. Is also known to help relieve acid reflux, heartburn, and an upset stomach. Yeah. For more, visit us on Facebook or at Family Health Checkup. Oh, Nicholas, this already bothers me. What? Twitter updated their layout again. Yeah. Look at the follow button now. What station are you trying to get? Let's see if I can get WJMJ over in uh, freaking Hartford, I believe it is. Most high. 
Is that it? Nah, it sounds like this is WFRS over in. Uh, oh, they're religious? Yeah. The fucking hell is that WJMJ and WFRS are all freaking. Yeah. Religious stations. <laughs> Bruh. But that's. That is amazing that we got WJ. Uh, Wow. WCCC. Yeah. Right. That's a new station found for me in the EAS side of things, but yeah. Nice. That's the best. Dreams really. So yeah. Encouraging Obviously, the AMFM capabilities on this thing work brilliantly, and you fucking mosquito! I got you, son of a bitch. Anyways, so yeah. Why don't we get into the next feature, and that would be the auxiliary capabilities. Okay, I do not know how many more of these damn private jets are going to fly over this house. But they're flying. And here comes another one. You see this? And there's another plane. But yeah, here comes yet another private jet. Or is this one... Or is this one a commercial airline? Nope, this is also private. Yeah, here comes another one. That's a commercial airline. Oh, the little boy blue. Oh, bruh. Oh, you're cooking them on the barbecue. Sweet. So anyways, despite Bluetooth being better than aux, this radio has aux, and we're gonna try it out with aux. So. Anyway. Okay, so it is plugged in. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on the MP3 player. Ooh, it's running low on battery. Let's try this song. Okay. But yeah, you guys get the point by now. This radio's auxiliary capabilities is actually pretty good. So, on that note, oh shit. LaGuardia Airport, 
reported a gust of 46 miles an hour or a marine thunderstorm gust but uh, anyways yeah um, why don't we go ahead and get to the next feature and that would be this feature right here the ability to charge your cell phone Okay, the USB cell phone charging on the Eton FRX3 Hamaka Schlemmer edition. So I'm going to turn that off, put that over there, and be right back to charge this cell phone because it is only at 25%. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Anyways, uh, there we go. Now, if I press the cell button and then plug it in, like so. Twenty-five percent charged, and it is charging the cell phone while charging itself with the light from the well, residual sunlight, of course. By the way, I think I know what is headed for us, and I don't think it's lightning. I think it's just a bunch of cloud cover. The marine warning's gone. So, yeah. But, yeah, that is a pretty useful feature, obviously, because, yeah, 25% charge that is charging the cell phone completely. And it is good. Hey, Xerxes. Xerxes. Yeah. Now you can come outside. Do you like it? Do you like feeling the breeze? Do you like feeling the breeze? What was that? Updates. Okay, but yeah. Anyways, why don't we get into the next feature? And that would be the build quality of the FRX3 Hemmecker Schlemmer. Okay, the build quality on the Eton FRX3 Hamacker Schlemmer Edition. So, since it's built the same way as an FRX3 Plus, it's automatically going to get a good rating, no doubt about that. But, um, the battery life seems to be pretty substantial. The hand crank seems to be fairly well balanced. The speaker quality sounds good. The tuning is good. The solar panel will last a lifetime if you take care of it. Good antenna mounts, although they are a little bit known for having, you know, as what I call antenna arthritis, which means it won't even stay up anymore. Um, flashlight is good. The SOS light is going good as usual. Auxiliary mode as well on the back. Headphones. DC jack. Is that another private jet? Is that another one? Yes, it is. flying to and from whatever airport is in that direction. But, uh, other than that, not too much. Um, yeah. So, build quality on this is automatically a good rating. Oh, yeah. Hex head screws. And then you have Apple with pentalobe screws. Not a little bad. Well, I was just mentioning that the Eton FRX3 Hemmecker Schlemmer, like all FRX3s, have hex head screws. So, there's that. You know, it's it's kind of you're, 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 playing awful, awful, you're paying an awful lot of attention to the head. Yeah. It's on the radio! <laughs> but anyways, um, anyways, there we go. 
I think there's like, what, six head hex head screws on it? Two in the front and four in the back. Uh, I think there's another one inside the battery compartment. I don't think so. But, yeah, the build quality is automatically a good rating. So, why don't we cap it off with the final thoughts? All right, the final thoughts of the Eton FRX3 Hemmecker Schlemmer Edition. Um, in terms of reliability and usefulness, I'd say get it, absolutely. It is a great radio, it has a lot of cool features and stuff, and they are well executed. But in terms of rarity, that's a different story, because these things are not that hard to, that, uh, excuse me, not that, not that hard to find, but they are not easy to find either. Um, as far as I know, these are not that expensive. Personally, I didn't even know the Hemmecker Schlemmer FRX3 even existed until just recently, when he got this radio. But, other than that, in terms of rarity factor, it is a great radio. I highly recommend it. It is one of the best portable survival radios that you can afford that's very cheaply built. This one, Eton did right. I will give it that. So yeah, automatically a great radio towards the end after reviewing it, having the final thoughts, good reception, and a good tuner as well. So, on that note, we are done with the Hemmecker Schlemmer. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. And, uh, I don't know what that noise was. Xerxes is right here. And here comes a helicopter. From somewhere or whatever. But yeah, also subscribe to ThunderBuddy01, Norfolk Southern Storm, NorCalDude599, Norcal as well as... What the fuck, El Rooney? Um, okay. Okay. Um. Well then. Where's that helicopter? Where is it? It's pretty close. There it is. And there it goes, bye bye. So guys, thank you all for watching, everybody as I go inside with it. This, ladies and gentlemen, like I've said before, is Clay Ranger 143 signing out oh, along shit. with... Oh shit, I didn't know, we, I didn't know you were still filming. I'm, I'm done. Jesus Christ, superstar. This guy, he doesn't even have a YouTube channel. He does, but it's more so for like commenting and all, and all that. Well, yeah, but when I say he doesn't have one, he doesn't really use it for videos and such. Yeah, he just used it to talk shit. <laughs> as a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> oh, where's Javier at? Is he downstairs? Javier, are you here? Oh, there you are. Um, I'm just about finished with the Hemmecker Schlemmer. And yeah, you're the last person to sign out. Alright. Anyways, before, I, before we sign out, uh, we have a lightning report out of Bronx. Bronx. What, yeah, what's up? six people have been struck by lightning at Orchard Beach. All have been treated on scene and transported to hospitals. This is why you don't fucking stay out on the beach during a goddamn storm. Yeah, City Island in Bronx. Yeah. Why do you think, do not be caught on the water in a thunderstorm <laughs> exists? This. Anyways, yes. But yeah. Charger. No, I, I unplugged it. I unplugged it. Oh. I unplugged it on purpose. Mm. Because sometimes it won't charge correctly. Oh boy. But anyways, yeah. NorCal Dude 599 is right here. Yep. So yeah. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Radio Reviews. Catch you later.